So now I have, in this opening at the top, I have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches left. And these I don't want to work, but I actually want to sew them together in a very specific way. So I'm going to cut a tail that's a bit longer. So I have some space for sewing. Pull it out to fasten it off. And I hope my camera picks this up. There we go. And you can see this is standing up a bit, but we will remedy this right now. So now we need our little darning needle or yarn needle or whatever you are using. And again, the way I get my yarn into the needle is pretty simple. I just pinch it, the top, between two fingers, hold my needle over it, and then wiggle the needle through. Then I can grab my yarn at the top and pull it through. It's a pretty easy way to get your yarn onto your needle. So the way I want to bind this off now is pretty simple. Again, I'm going to be using only the front loops. I'm not going to go through the whole stitch. I'm going to go from the outside of the piece towards the hole, just the front loop, pull it through, don't pull it tight yet, just pull it through loosely, and I'll do the same thing with the next stitch. Again, from the outside into the front loop, pull through. I'll do this with all six stitches. I just want to grab the front loop. This will give me a nice even ending that's four whoops five and the last one is right up here six and now that I've done all of them now I want to pull to close the hole there we go and you see it pulled it together really nice and neat and now to get rid of this little nub on the top I will insert the needle right in the center of this hole that I just closed and work it through to the side and just pull it down to eliminate that nub and I've got a nice even ending that looks almost exactly like my beginning now I want to weave in my yarn right here on the side so it doesn't come loose. Again, I'll just go through a couple stitches on one side. Then skip one of these loops so the yarn can anchor there. And weave back through to the other side. There we go. And then I can cut off my yarn. And I have created a neat little stuffed ball.